and we will finish with a 247 and that's beautiful i'm so happy that just worked out five boats of warriors closer to that <laughs> we just got somebody subscribing during uh, the recording here that's awesome thank you so much my friend a big shout out to my bomber players out there but uh honestly when the warrior hit is on point uh it, it's gonna win every single time using warriors for three engine room isn't all about rushing it's all about that staggered timed delayed drop good morning uh, good afternoon and yes good evening skull army and friends uh for those of you that don't know me uh my name is skull crusher and i stream boom beach content and create boom beach videos and in today's video we're going to be talking about using warriors for three er gameplay for the start of warships season 34 march ahead let's do this Welcome back, Skull Army and a friends. Uh, super excited for day one of Warship Season 34, March ahead. Uh, we had an absolute phenomenal stream uh, this morning. For those of you that did tune in, uh, thank you. Uh, for those of you that, uh, that didn't, uh, let's just say we had a 17 times win streak uh, into uh, gold rank uh, with the heavy rush. Just absolutely insane. We'll have it up on the screen. <laughs> screenshot okay let's go back to global now that's a screenshot right there okay holy crap guys back to the task force still holding number one there 17 and 0 guys 17 and 0. so here we go guys right over here <laughs> So you definitely want to check it out. And yeah, so we're going to be focusing on Captain Borealis, a uh, three ER gameplay, and of course, using the Warriors, because I know, I know a lot of players are a little bit hesitant, a little bit of afraid, straight up, they'll just say, I, I suck with a warriors and i'm hoping with uh today's video showing how i'm using the warriors for three er gameplay because there there is a fair amount of dirty layouts out there and we're still actually able to succeed uh with the warriors here this bottom battle here is from two er this is where we made the jump to three engine room and i only do have two losses here and ironically you know they are both fizzles i i this guy also fizzled on me, uh, but nonetheless here, uh, before we do dive on into the replays here, I do want to showcase the uh, tech tree here and, sh and pretty much show you what we're backing up with the warriors here. Now, of course, we do have the max level warriors, which has been the pride and joy on the Captain Borealis account. And of course, to back up those warriors, we do have a tick for flare. Uh, that is just honestly saving me gumbled energy. Uh, no need to reflare. Uh, 20 seconds is more than enough time to pretty much get, you know, your warriors to that final engine room or however you are using the flare on the layout or how the attack is unfolding so tick four flare is really really coming in handy uh, and then of course we do have that troop damage at 50 percent uh you can't go wrong with 50 percent troop damage with the warriors and to back up the 50 percent troop damage we do uh, have that 50 percent troop at health so we are balancing uh, the td with the th here uh, 50 percent on both ends here so of course here is my layout with Captain Borealis here and this is actually pretty similar to some of the layouts that I am running into so here we go guys we're gonna start off with our first replay in the log here our Chinese character friend here this was 304 to 241 so on an attack like this guys pay attention to the fact that we are dropping one boat of warriors back and forth on the left side and right side of the ramp here and this is just a slow meticulous back and forth drop here until we do have the full fleet on the battlefield and as you can see we do actually have a three boats of warriors closer to that far right side and then five boats of warriors closer to that <laughs> we just got somebody subscribing during uh, the recording here that's awesome thank you so much my friend welcome to the skull army uh but going back to the video here as you can see uh the warriors are just free clearing here so using warriors for three engine room isn't all about rushing if you are directly flaring and rushing with your your squad of warriors there's a good chance that that whole squad is going to hit mines at the same time it's going to completely damage the squad of warriors at the same time which is really going to ruin the actual at attack here using warriors for three engine room uh for warship season 34 here is really all about that staggered timed delayed drop 
that was beautiful right there guys once again thank you my friend for subscribing and then of course moving forward here we do have pd a uh, big uh, shout out to pd here but once again continuing with the warriors here so this one's actually a little bit dirtier uh but notice what we did right here this was actually a full drop and we directly flared it to that mid of the three er deck here with the three smoke drop just giving our warriors the coverage to get into position here notice how we're just free clearing making our way over we do go directly to that mid engine room and once again we directly flare behind that engine room on the far left side under the coverage of a two smoke drop and somehow the warriors make it there it looks like we had five of them left and we were able to pull that one in so on a layout on the this is more of a, a stone heart layout on these ones you are going to tend to kind of drop all the warriors at once flare them to an advantage position and then let them free clear in until you go for that aggressive hail mary flare whether it, it's on the final two or the final engine room so not bad there not bad at all as, as we continue we do have my next chinese character friend here this was 302 to 242 so this is more of what i'm rocking right here this is more so to prevent against the heavy rush because there is a fair amount of heavy rushes here so on this attack right here we did decide to go with the full warrior drop here we went for an advantage flare here hoping to get that beautiful split with warriors going to that bottom left engine room and warriors going to that top mid er and as we do make it to that advantage flare that split flare you can see we had an absolute incredible split there with a fair amount of warriors actually going to that bottom left and going to that top mid there and once again letting them free clear here just letting them take their natural path here they're clearing mines uh you know they're essentially clearing mines for the warriors behind them which is a huge huge advantage at this point right here we did go for a ground flare right behind uh, that top right engine room and of course under the coverage of smoke here i wanted to get shranked in numbers i want to get all the warriors swinging at once here and i think we were able to bring it down with with about four consecutive swings absolutely beautiful right there boom goes the dynamite and as we do continue in the log here we do have burgie big shout out to burgie this was 311 burgie i should say my bad uh this was 311 to two minutes and eight seconds on this one so we're going to check this replay out so this is a stone heart layout i repeat this is a stone heart layout so notice how on this one right here we did go for a, a full warrior drop here but we did kind of keep the flare tight on the inside there and beautiful job with the ground flare on the inside there that way we were able to avoid most of the mines even though we did clip them uh, that's where that 50 percent troop health really does come in handy here and we go for a little sneaky ground flare avoiding some of those mines there between the flamethrowers under the coverage of smoke we do directly lock on warrior swinging in unison boom goes the dynamite that was a really really good hit right there you gotta love uh the synchronization uh when you do get all the troops attacking at once here and as we do continue after bergy there uh we've do got we've got fail z foo <laughs> once again 257 a little bit slower uh but most of my opponents are using bombas or heavy rushing so uh you know very few are still using warriors at this point but uh, once again the point of this video is to let you know uh that it is still possible to use warriors for three engine room uh if you're not at the heavies yet you know what if you don't want to use the zookas trust me you are able to do this with the warriors so big shout out to uh filzy foo here uh 257 on my end here so once again another layout very similar to mine here this one we decided to go for a a timed delayed staggered drop here notice how we just you know one boat after the other there and now we're going back and forth on the ramp there to kind of get that warrior split knowing that we've got kind of that top right engine room under control it was all about trying to get the warriors to get to that mid so we can finish it with that hail mary to that bottom left here but considering most of my opponents are using the bombas here th that smoke was unnecessary we did it because we had tons of gunboat energy at this point since it was only single shot defenses we went for a direct hail mary flare uh no need to follow up with smoke and that was just a beautiful beautiful finish boom goes the dynamite and as we do continue after Filzy Fu here, we've got Voila. Uh, voila, or I hope I am pronouncing that right here. I'm probably butchering every single name in my log right now. But this was 253. This was even slower uh, than my previous attack there. Uh, but once again, it was still fast enough than 232. That, that is a Bomba time right there. Uh, big shout out to my Bomba players out there. But uh, honestly, when the Warrior hit is on point, uh, it, it's going to win every single time. Once again, when the Warrior hit is on point. <laughs> so 253 check this madness out here 
once again another similar uh, layout to what i'm rocking here so on this one guys we did decide to go for that timed delayed staggered drop here notice how you know one boat of warriors and the next boat of warriors and now we're focusing on that delayed drop on the far right side of the ramp there to target that top right engine room we've got the rest of that delayed staggered drop coming out on the far left side of the ramp there to get the bunch of those warriors progressing towards that top mid engine room of course as we do free clear we cleared the mines we set ourselves up for that aggressive hail mary flare notice the flare there avoiding the bulk of the mines there as we get ourselves in position we transition to the final er and boom goes the dynamite it's it's possible and you my friends can do this as well and of course as we continue here this was my boss fight uh to rank 14 that's right we do have the rank 14 chest right there we will claim that uh right after we showcase the last uh boss fight uh sorry after we showcase the last battle in the log uh and then we'll go in for a live battle after we do collect uh this rank 14 chest of course continuing with the warriors here so big shout out to my boss fight here this was 310 this was an absolute savage time with the warriors here but look at the layout here so for this one here once again timed delayed staggered drop here one boat of warriors then the next you know back and forth on that left ramp uh sorry on, there's only one ramp on the far left side of the ramp far right side of the ramp uh, i i believe we only did need two boats of warriors for that top right engine room considering there was only two flamethrowers and when, when you are staggering the drop it works so much better for clearing the mines you know you're pretty much opening it up for the warriors in the back there and this was just a beautiful aggressive flare to that final er boom goes the dynamite so we're gonna go in right now and collect that beautiful rank chest rank 14 guys of course skull crusher did hit gold but i'm very happy you know slowly cruising along on captain borealis with the warriors hitting rank 14 here let's get that num 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 going this isn't going to be a, an absolute savage num 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 but we're still getting it guys num, 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 num. delicioso my friends <laughs> I love it. So before we do actually wrap up this video here, let's go in for a live attack with the Warriors. Continue our times four streak and see if we can get the win here. So once again, guys, uh, do not forget to leave a like on today's video if you have made it this far. If you are new and metaphorically speaking, consider grabbing a stick of dynamite, okay? And then lighting that set stick of dynamite, okay? And then running over to that subscribe button, you're then gonna place that light set stick of dynamite beside the subscribe button. You will then run away and that's right blow up the subscribe button join the ranks of the skull army today all right what are we dealing with um okay you know what i think we're gonna go for one of those free clear hits again not free well of course free clear that's what the majority of our hits have been other than the occasional stone heart layout but for this one right here considering there's you know the two mortars uh the cannon and the sniper on the ramp there we're gonna start things off with three boats of warriors we're gonna go one two and three and just kind of even that drop on you know far left side far right side and then mid of the ramp and once we do clear these four defenses we're going to go back we're going to drop one more on that far right side we're going to go back to the left side drop another one right there uh okay that's a huge split up to the right side there so we're going to drop the rest of the warriors on the left side hoping that I do get a majority split going to the left side here. I'm hoping that the rest of these guys just ignore up top there. With what we have there, uh, it should be more than enough here. And remember, guys, we don't have any shocks. We don't have any of that stuff right here. So my gumboat energy is just accumulating until I can set it up with the smoke here. And look at that. Beautiful. I'm very happy that we've got three warriors left right there. Beautiful charge up top here. We should be able to take out the engine room, the flamethrower. Three warriors doing their job for the top right here. We set this up right over here. More than enough warriors. Now we're going to go for that ground flare. We're going to keep it tight over here. This is where all my GBE is going to come in handy. We're going to avoid all these mines. We're going to come over here. One, two, three. Beautiful. We did smoke the engine room. We're going to follow up with that direct reflare. We're at 255 right now. So as that smoke, uh, you know, expires, where they're going to be uh, attacking synchronization here all at once. And we will finish with a 247. Now, I know we did start a little bit later because we were giving the intro here. Big shout out to Jim Jam. Or not the intro. We were giving the spew about subscribing. And that's beautiful. I'm so happy that just worked out for the video here. And we are pulling in 16 stars. Uh, Skull Army and friends. Boom! 
boom goes the dynamite do not forget to plug and play code skull crusher let me know in the comments what your thoughts are of the warriors and how to use the warriors uh for three engine room gameplay and we will uh be back in action tomorrow continuing with skull crusher unlocking barrage and hopefully continuing uh the golden season of warships for skull crusher uh for now uh skull army and friends we will uh, officially be wrapping up uh, the video uh i think it's time to make like a tom what's up tom <laughs> and cruise peace out guys